Hi everyone, my name is Tobias Off. I work for Senit, um, which is the producer and vendor of FastSuite, a robot programming software. I'm actually responsible for Senit's China business, but today I'm going to give you a little bit uh, of an introduction into robot programming in general. So let's go. The first question would be, what is robot programming? And why do we need that? So robots actually don't really know what to do until somebody tells them or teaches them. Um, so while an industrial robot might be able to adjust a little bit by himself if he cannot really grab something or there's a camera to correct some movements, the bigger movements, the joint movements and the path planning must be done by somebody to teach the robot. And um, this can be done the old fashioned way, let's say, which is online, which means I have something like, a, it's called a teach pendant, something like a joystick and it's connected to the robot by a wire. And then I take this teach pendant and I um, basically move the joystick, say, okay, a little bit up, safe, a little bit down, safe, and then I can create a whole path and I can teach the robot how to move. Fine, that works perfectly fine. Um, but when we have, for example, bigger work pieces, when we have more um, complex contours um, or operations, um, there's another way to do that, which is offline programming. It's a little bit counterintuitive because why is offline the newer version? Um, usually online is always better, right? But in this case, it means we cut the wire, there's no wire connecting us to the robot, and we do the whole thing on the computer. We need a digital model in the computer in a 3D environment, mostly. Um, and then we can teach the robot exactly what to do and how to move. And then we can download the robot code, put it on the robot by FTP or um, by a, a USB stick if you want. And then the robot will follow your commands and do exactly um, what you taught him to do. But the bigger benefit is that you don't actually need the robot to be present while you program or reprogram it. As I've said before, if you do online teaching in the traditional way, you need to be next to the robot on the shop floor in the factory. And when you do this on a computer, it can be in your office and you can do all the preparations without the machine, without the robot even being present. So that can save a lot of time um, up front and most importantly, you don't have to take the robot out of production. Robots should be running, should be producing, should be earning money for you. Once you have to take it out of the production, it will cost you. So you better have a virtual image, a digital image in a kind of software like FastSuite from Zenit, and then you don't have to uh, do this on site. You can do all the preparation work and the robot programming in your office and save a lot of time. So one more thing I want to mention in this context is that offline programming software can help you to avoid collisions and optimize the path planning of the robot. App optimize the movements, make sure that your robot arm doesn't collide with any of the other equipment. And these are things you don't want to find out on the shop floor and risk your expensive equipment. Um, but if you do this offline, if you do this on the computer, then you can make sure there's no such collision, there's no costly error, and you, can, you get a repetitive result. It doesn't depend on, let's say, the mood of the programmer or whoever would be teaching online. Um, it is all safe, it is all stored, you can repeat the process, um, and it's a much safer way to program a robot. All right, everyone, I hope you liked my quick introduction uh, into robot programming. If you're interested in some more details, feel free to check out our website, fastsuite.com. Um, our experts are always there to help you to um, also to teach you a little bit. Um, we're happy if you're interested in this topic and we're happy to help you be there for you. So check us out on fastsuite.com and thanks for listening. Goodbye.